السلام علیکم ایوری ون ریلیجس تھنکر کے پارٹ ٹو کے ساتھ ہم آپ کے سامنے حاصل ہیں اینڈ ٹوڈے وی ول بی ٹاکنگ اباؤٹ سید احمد شہید بریلوی ہز کانٹریبیوشنس ہز اچیومنٹس ہز بلیف اینڈ دا موسٹ امپارٹنٹ فن ہز بایوگرافی سو لیٹ اسٹارٹ آر ویڈیو لیکن بفور اسٹارٹنگ دا لیسن آئی ووڈ ریکویسٹ یو آل ٹو پلیز لائک اینڈ سبسکرائب دا چینل and also share your comments in the comments box so that we must have an idea aap kahan se dekh rahe hain aur hamari videos ko pasand kar rahe hain ya nahi pasand kar rahe okay ji so let's start with the first slide of this lesson that is the biography of sayyid ahmed shaheed barelvi he was born in november 1786 at rai bareli uh, it's the part of lucknow Um, and he w- was born in a very religious family his father shah ilmullah was a religious scholar sayyid ahmed shaheed was inspired by shah abdul aziz he was a follower or a disciple of him he was greatly influenced by the teachings of shah waliullah he took his early education at madrasa e rahimia and he was taught by the son of shah waliullah at madrasa e rahimia He was a very strong man who liked manly sports. Um, basically, he was more into action rather than writings. Just like we have studied about Shah Waliullah, that he took the reforms or the kind of revival that he was going on in the subcontinent. It was through his teachings, his writings, uh, his books which he wrote down. But if we talk about Shah Sayyid Ahmed Shaheed, ki baat kare, So he was more into action. He wanted to bring the reforms. He wanted to uh, revive Islam uh, by action, by doing jihad. And for this purpose, he joined the military force of Nawab Amir Khan of Tonak. There he learned the use of European weapons. He went for Hajj and studied religion there. When he returned back in 1823, uh, he had more weapons. focused aim for of jihad he soon started the jihad movement against the sikh of punjab and british and fought against them and displayed his skills in the art of fighting he was an outstanding orator his religious and political sermons won him many companions including shah ismail and shah abdul hai when we talk about the belief of sayyid ahmed shaheed So we got to know that he realized that Muslims could not have their freedom to practice Islam without defeating the British and Sikh. Because in the early 19th century, Punjab was ruled by Sikh who treated Muslim harshly. They respected their culture, customs, religious side, and they were making it difficult for the Muslim community to practice their faith freely. So it was the right time to stand against Islam. those uh, oppressed sikh and the british and to fight for the right of muslims he believed to end the evils which had corrupted the islamic society he was sure it is crucial to start a jihad movement to defeat the forces that are not letting the muslim practice their religion properly he was sure it is the only way to rescue islam from the evil customs of other society سو ان کے اکارڈنگ جہاد فرسٹ اور لاسٹ آپشن تھی مسلمانوں کو ان کی اسٹرینتھ واپس دلوانے کے لیے اور اسلام کا ریوائیول اسلام کے ریوائیول کے لیے یا اسلام کو دوبارہ سے گلوریفائی کرنے کے لیے ان دا سب کانٹیننٹ رائٹ اوکے نیکسٹ وی ول بی ٹاکنگ اباؤٹ ہز کانٹریبیوشن کیا کانٹریبیوشن ہے کیا کام ہے ایک تو ہم ابھی پڑھ چکے ہیں دیٹ از آل اباؤٹ جہاد موومنٹ In 1821, he went for Hajj, but before going to Hajj, he had meetings with leaders and spread his belief. He started the jihad movement against the Sikh oppression to defend and promote Islamic values. He wanted to rejuvenate Islam in the subcontinent. Now, this is a small question of your four marks. Ka question ho sakta hai. What is jihad movement? So you can elaborate that it was started by Sayyid Ahmed Shaheed. and then you will be mentioning the objective or the main purpose of jihad movement he toured to punjab and nwfp to raise the mujahideens 
and fought many battles against Sikh. He was inclined to bring back the former glory of Islam for the Muslims by disposing Sufism and implementing Sharia. He denied and refused to support Bidda, that is an innovation in Islam, and he always supported Tawheed. His army got defeated due to bribery of Yar Muhammad Khan and his servant. Ye wo log the jinhone rishwat leke Sayyid Ahmed Shahid ke khilaf khade ho gaye, jiski wajah se unki army ko shikast ho gayi ya wo haar gayi. Sayyid Ahmed Shahid martyred at Balakot during the Battle of Balakot with Sikh, um, along with his 600 Mujahideen. It is said that after Sher Singh left the area, the Sikh soldiers dug up the grave of Sayyid Ahmed Shahid and threw his dead body into the Kunhar River. And his dead body was never found as the river flow was too fast in that area. Okay, next slide, we have some questions which are related to this topic. We'll be checking them, what um, kind of questions you can come to your paper. Uh, these are your 7 marks questions and a 14 marks question. Hai. Question number 1, that is a 7 marks question. Why did Sayyid Ahmed Shaheed Barelvi conduct a jihad against the Sikh in the early 19th century? Second question is somehow related to the same thing لیکن اس کو تھوڑا سا ریفریز کیا گیا ہے why did Sayyid Ahmed Shaheed wish to revive Islam in the subcontinent then we have another question why did Sayyid Ahmed Shaheed have such a major influence on the revival of Islam in the subcontinent یہ تینوں question آپ کے 7 marks کے question ہیں اور یہ آپ کے previous exams میں آ چکے ہوئے ہیں question number 4 is a 14 marks question where you are adding the complete detail and it's a sort of essay. Was the work of Sayyid Ahmed Shaheed the most important factor in the revival of Islam in the subcontinent during the 17th and 18th century? Give reasons for your answer. So, this tarah ke question aapke exams mein aa sakte hain. So, please be prepared or please apne comments ke saath humare saath in touch rahein, connected rahein. ہمیں ضرور بتاتے رہیں کہ ہماری ویڈیوز آپ کو کیسی لگ رہی ہیں اپنا بہت سارا خیال رکھیں جلد ملتے ہیں اپنے تیسرے تھنکر کے ساتھ انشاءاللہ تعالی اللہ حافظ